Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Brian and Travis. And Brian and Travis have this question. What can you do to reconnect to your spirituality after a faith-shaking shock? And um, I would say partly in response to this that in our lives we sometimes do receive faith-shaking shocks that cause us to question our spirituality or have difficulty connecting to our spirituality because we're simply so shaken by events that have transpired. And how can we once again connect to our spirituality when this has happened? Well, usually, if we find ourselves having difficulty reconnecting to spirit after a faith-shaking shock, it's because of fear. We're afraid either that we have made wrong choices in our spirituality or we're afraid of what our spirit guides, patron deities, or, or spirit in general will say to us, uh, or we're simply so afraid of what has happened that we cannot connect. But whatever of these various possibilities it may be, it comes down to fear. And so the way that you would deal with this is the way you would deal with any fear. And the first and most important thing I would say is to cleanse, to spiritually, energetically cleanse yourself, cleanse your home. If you have property, cleanse your property. Break up all the existing energy patterns so that new ones can emerge and break up that fear. I would also perhaps do a burning to send away the fear or a soul retrieval if you're in a position to do that. Uh, if you find that you need to do more, we have exercises in second degree, for example, personifying fears in order to heal them. There are a lot of ways to work with fear, but the thing that would be preventing you from reconnecting would be fear. Now, having said that, meditation would be the next thing I would recommend. When you have done what you can to combat the fear, meditate on the subject. And you can, um, in all likelihood, find that you still have more fear to deal with when you do this, but that's only natural. Uh, when something has shaken your life, there's going to be fear. Work with that, work with healing that, work with meditation to reconnect with spirit, and do all the things that you would normally do in your spirituality. And ask your guides to help you to reconnect, ask your patron deities to help you to reconnect, and ask them also to help you to deal with the fear inherent in the situation. But if you find yourself having difficulty connecting to spirit, and there's been a faith-shaking shock, then the actual blockage is fear. Now, the other thing that you can do, if you know someone who is highly skilled in energy work, is you can perhaps approach the blockage that way as well. Because when you approach a blockage, you can do it in many different ways. You can do it emotionally, intellectually, energetically. There are many ways to handle it. But either way, the blockage is coming from fear in one of several variations. So I would say to approach uh, first personal cleansing, meditation, asking for help from your spiritual allies, and continuing all the things you would normally do. And I think that you will find that a combination of things will be helpful. Um, it is important to bear in mind that every person and every situation is different, and what will help one person may not be as effective for another. So certainly try different things. But I think you'll find these a very good place to start. And perhaps the best place of all to begin the process is the ritual bath in the spell section of the first degree lessons, which would be very good for the beginning approach to this blockage. So those would be my suggestions. I hope you find them helpful, and until next time, may you blessed be. Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you for Pagans Tonight Radio. Pagans Tonight Radio is an online radio network with different hosts and different shows seven nights a week. There's something for every taste, including Spanish language programming on Saturday evening. Check out pagansdenight.com today.